This conference will now be recorded. This conference will now be recorded. Well, as Dale told you, my name's Jonathan. Just talked out of phone. I'm the voice engineer there. So, <clears throat> over the past several weeks, we've been working on your new phone system, getting everything ready to go. So today, we'll be looking at the two models of phones you'll be receiving. Some of you will be receiving the Yealink T27, which is an admin phone. We also have the Yealink T23, which is kind of a lower end phone. It's got the same features as the T27. Just a few less keys on it, and I'll show you that phone here in a second. I'll put it in front of the camera so you can see the difference. So first things first, this is admin phone. Got your handset, keys, get a screen here that'll give you some information when you're off the phone or when you're on the phone. So when you get your phone, you'll have a key at the top that's going to have your name beside it. It may be out of focus as I move around. So you'll see your name at the top. You'll also see your name down here. That'll have your extension number beside it. So you'll know what your extension number is. In case you forget. A couple of um, keys on the screen. Also, you have a history key. And these keys across the bottom we call soft keys. They change depending on what you're doing with the phone. So you've got a history key, a directory key, which your directory on the phone, if you save a contact in your phone, it'll be listed under that directory. Uh, D and D key, it do not disturb. So if you take lunch in your office or you've got someone in your office, you don't want your phone to ring, press that do not disturb key there. And you'll see at the top that you've got a new icon. It says D and D. That tells you you're on Do Not Disturb, and if someone tries to call you, they're going to go straight to voicemail. Turn it off. Just press the key again, and then that box disappears from the top. The last key on on the bottom, on the far right hand side, is a menu key. So that takes you to uh, the phone menu where you can look at your status, uh, features of the phone, change some settings. You can you can get to different places on the phone by hitting that menu key. And one of the things in here I'll show you is under features, uh, you can activate call forwarding on the phone. So to get to call forwarding, you're gonna hit your menu key, go down to features, and there you see call forward. Do you have any printouts or any Set of options for these yes, there will be a document that we have that we have gone through and put all the options for everything I'm talking about today okay. on paper so you can read it and kind of go through each step. I got another question. Um, if we can add numbers to the directory, will those numbers show up in the countywide directory like we have now? No, they won't. Oh, but we can still access the countywide directory. Like Y'all have a countywide directory that they can access yes. outside of the phone. So then, like, if I want to call, I can just scroll down directly and call her. I think what they're saying is, will it show everybody's phone number in the county? Right now, when we hit the directory, uh -huh. it will bring up the phone. On your three com phone, it does. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so. not ones that are saved; it's ones that are automatically stored. There. Right. Yes. Currently, there is a there's not a countywide directory, but we can we can get you one. Where if you pull up this directory key on your phone, it will load the directory and have everybody's name and extension number there. And it still will not merge our personal number that you want to save to a directory. Right. So when you pull up your directory, you should have a local directory and an actual directory that's got the countywide extensions and everything in it. That's something we'll have to build out for you. That's we'll make that happen. So as, as I was saying, if you want to forward your phone, you go into menu, go to features, call forward. Um, if you want to forward your phone to another extension, 
can do that. If you want to forward your phone to the main number, if you want to forward your phone to your cell phone, this is where you would do it at. And under your call forward, you have three options. If you always want your phone to go to your forward number, this top option says always forward. So you enable that, type in your number, save it, then somebody calls your extension, it's always gonna to go to your cell phone or whatever number you have programmed in there. Your second option under your call forward is a busy forward. So if you're on the phone, then it'll forward that call to wherever. It won't go to your voicemail if you're, if you're on the phone. It'll forward the call to the, another extension or an outside number. There's also a forward option for no answer. So if you don't answer the phone, it'll forward the call instead of going to your voicemail box. Also under your menu, you have a settings key. Um, advanced settings are password protected. That is for phone configuration. Basic settings is what you'll have access to, and that's where you can um, change settings for your display. You can turn your backlight off and on. If you if you can see it better with the backlight off, you can turn it on in here. I do have it off for this training because if it come on on the camera, it just white. Everything went white, so you couldn't see it. Under sound, you can change your ringtone for your for your phone. So if you don't like the default ringer, you can change it here. And you have all types of ringtones. Change it for your line. So there's some that are low, quiet, or some that are higher, that are loud. So that's something that you can kind of play around with to customize your phone. All right, to place a phone call, which should be pretty simple for everyone. You pick up the handset, dial your number. And there's also no nine when you dial out. I don't know if y'all have that now, but that goes away. We did decide to do that, right, Rob? So no more nine to make a phone call. Yeah, the same with the fax. Yeah. Okay. So any any kind of phone call transmission out of the county, whether it's fax or phone, no more nine. Make a phone call. You can pick up your handset, dial your number. Just wait a few seconds, and it'll it'll dial out. Yes. So if you wanted to call, we got Robin's phone over here, 6763. Just dial 6763. You can wait for it, or you can press the send key on the phone. Okay, we'll I know we had two different cell phone groups in the county, and whatever grid I was on, I could dial those for them. Will we be able to dial? Everybody will be on one platform now, so there's no separation between the two. Another way to place a call is just dial whatever number you're looking to dial. Down here at the bottom, you have a, a uh, speakerphone button, which is like a speaker with some audio vibes coming off of it. I dialed the wrong number, 6763. So you can dial the number without picking up the handset and then hit the speaker phone button. And also, we dial that way. When he answers the phone, it's gonna activate your speaker phone so you'll hear the audio coming out of the speaker instead of the handset. Once he answers that call, if you wanna take it off speaker phone, just pick up the handset. Going 
Just hit the speakerphone and then hang up your handset. So, go ahead. Are we recommending, and we may gonna, maybe going to get to this later on, are we recommending that the main front desk get that, the bigger phone, and then regular workers get the smaller one, or because of the features, or what is the recommendation on that? Robin, I'm not going to answer that. I don't know who got so what phone. Like receptionists and people like that. Most people. But they can all do the same thing. Okay. Yes. So that's a couple of different ways you can make a phone call. Uh, when you receive a phone call, you just pick up the handset or activate the speakerphone, either of the two. So you're on speaker now or pick up the handset. And while we got this call up, we'll go ahead and look at transfer. So you'll notice you probably can't see it on your screen, but down here at the bottom, your first soft key says transfer. So if you wanted to transfer that call out, get your transfer key. You can dial your new extension to wherever you want to transfer it to. Or if you've got a, a BLF key programmed on your phone, you can press that key here. The person at extension six. Nine, I think that's Chris six, Ivy's phone. Four see. is unavailable. This phone is probably offline. So it's going to go straight to voice You're Chris, right? Yeah. So this phone was not plugged up, so it went to voice play. Otherwise, it would have rang. <clears throat> That's how you transfer a phone call. There's two types of transfers. There's blind transfers and there's attended transfer. So what a blind transfer is, by default, when you transfer a call, it's going to ring the person you're transferring to. It gives that person an opportunity to answer the phone and for you two to talk before you actually send them the phone call. So that's an attended transfer. So you're telling them, I've got so-and-so on the phone for you. Would you like to speak to them? They have the option of taking the call or not. So you can go back and say, I'll transfer you. You can push the call through by hitting the transfer key a second time. And then that's going to send the call through. Or if you want, if they say, no, I'm busy right now, I can't take the call, you go back to the caller, give them that information, and, and then transfer them to their voicemail box. Would it be an option to see, like right now, if I call Deborah and she's on her phone, it'll tell me on another phone? Yes, if, if you've got the key for Deborah on your phone. Okay. Yes, and I'll go ahead and show you this, because this one has... Well, this one has it on here too. So you see these three keys have lights on them, they're green. They're green on. So if Robin was on the phone, Robin's light changes to red. You probably can't see it there. So Robin's light is now lit at red, which means Robin is busy. Robin's on the phone. Is that because we save Robin into that phone? That, that's what anybody. Right. That is because Dale's phone is configured with a BLF key for Robin, and that's a busy lamp field key. So we're kind of going to have to see who and what department needs what keys on their phones. So you can add whatever keys you want. You'll have to let Robin or Dale know, or we can do it as well. So we can add those keys to your screen if you want to be able to monitor other people's phones, which also works for call pickup. So if Dale's phone is ringing, Robin wants to answer Dale's phone. He knows Dale's out of the office today. He can see Dale's key flashing, flashing on his phone so he can press that key and take that phone call since he's out of the office. I'm thinking on the lines of because I supervise the front desk and we have like some employees in the back. If I'm calling a worker because there's a client here to see her, right? And she's on another call right now with the old system. If I dial her extension, she'll say on another call. So I hang up and wait a few minutes. But at that point, you would. But that's everybody in the whole building. Right. But I have to add everybody in the whole building. All right. Yeah. I mean, you can't. Obviously, can't have everyone yeah. on this phone with not enough keys. Right. 
but there are some sidecar consoles that can be added to these phones where you can have another extension off that will allow you to add more keys. Or when you transfer that call, you receive their voicemail, you know they're on the phone. It's not going to ring. But see, like I said, maybe a client standing there. I mean, I'm right. transferring a call. I'm right. calling in to let them know Mary Blue is here to see you. Okay. But if they're on another line right now, we sort of hang up. We wait to give them a few minutes to get off the phone. Then we try them again. On another right. call, we wait a few minutes. Then if they don't answer after so many, we page them and to let them know that they're a client waiting. But I just didn't know. Like you said, we can't add everybody. So I'm wondering how we're going to now know. We'll get, we'll get. Right. There's also there's also an option to park a call where you can park the call and then give that person the extension to pick up the call on if if they're busy. But in order to solve your problem, you're gonna to have to have the extension modules so you can see who's on the phone and who's not. Right. And if I'm on my phone in the front, this is trying to call me. Will I know someone's trying to call me? Yes, you. I mean, this these phones can take more than one call, so you'll see the new call pop up on your screen and okay. see who it is. You can answer it or not answer. Okay. It. Well, these will know they can see us trying to get them. So that's what you got. And then if you do take both of those calls, you can manipulate those. Yeah, you can put you can put one on hold and switch back back and forth between. So one you put on hold will obviously hear on hold music. So you can take the next call if it needs to transfer out, get rid of it, and go back to the person you're working with originally. I, I do think the sidecars would benefit what you're talking about. <clears throat> that would give you the option to have everybody right in front of you, see who's on the phone and who's not. In the page you set up, that parking picture would park that call and then just page throughout the building and say, you know. Yes. You, you do call parking. You you transfer the call to. There's two ways to do it. You can transfer the call to extension 700, and you'll get a guide on all this also. Extension 700 will be your parking lot, and if you transfer to extension 700, the system will tell you where it parked that call. So it's going to give you back a number 701 or 702 or 703. So at that point, you could page whoever and say you've got a call parked on 701. That way they would know when they finish up what they're doing to grab with their phone, dial 701, and then the phone call. So they could go to any phone. Yeah, any phone in the building. If they're in the break room, you got a phone in the break room, they could grab it there. If you got one in the bathroom, they could grab it there. So any, anywhere in the building, even if they're in a, you know, Anywhere they are, and they got access to a phone, pick it up, dial that three years extension that that you announced on the, over the page, and, and they can grab that call. That's for them. Don't have to be on their phone. And you also have some the paging capability like you do now through the phones. Um, I can't demonstrate that today with just two phones, but there will be a way to page your different departments over the speaker phone. And I think that is on. Um, yeah, well, okay. I'm sure there'll be some type of printout with all your codes to dial for, for all your different paging areas. Uh, you do many conference calls. There is also an ability to do a conference call with this phone, which you know is you and two other people. So it's a maximum of three. Anything beyond that has to be set up as an actual conference bridge that you have to dial into and then add people in. Anything more than three requires a conference bridge, but you can do like the three way call, three way conference call with this phone itself. And when you're on a when you're on a call. We talked about the transfer, you also have a hold key. That's next in line. Then beside that is your conference key. So if you're talking to someone else, you want to add someone else in on the call, press your conference key, you get a dial tone. At that point, you add your new extension. And it doesn't have to be an extension, it can be a actual number as well. Let's 
seeing that. We're confident that one failed. may not have that configured yet so I'm sorry about that but you can do the three-way conference call normally and you will be able to, to do that when you get your phone so that takes care of placing a call transferring a call making a conference call forwarding your phone went up went over the BLF keys what the lights mean um, a couple a couple of tips about the phone itself so you see all these buttons on the phone. And you may or may not can read what they say. But if you have voicemail, you got a message button here. Please enter your PIN. So at that point, you would enter your voicemail password. 6763, Dale? 6764. I'll get you and Robin confused. You have no messages. Press two to if change folders. Press three for you advanced options. Your name in this mailbox. Press zero for mailbox. To do your own custom greetings in this mailbox. You can have a busy greeting, an available greeting, and also a temporary greeting for like if you're on vacation and you just want it to play. When you get back, you can take it off. That way, you don't have to change your regular greeting every time. So that's your message key. Check your voicemail, just press Please that. Enter your PIN. Enter your PIN number. Um, if you have a voicemail message, this button does light up. So you'll see that lit up if you have a new message. You have a headset button here. If you have a headset that you're going to use with your phone, it's plugged up. You press this button to activate the headset. It will turn green, letting you know that the phone audio is on the headset instead of the speaker or the handset itself to deactivate the headset just press the button again the light goes off the headsets that we use like 300 foot yeah it may be less in here because of the it being an older building center block walls several in between so i mean you make them walk in across the hall or down the hall just a little bit. Just have to test it out and see how good it is. You got a conference key, a hard conference key down here as well. You can use either one, they both function the same way. Make a conference call. You've got a hold key here as well. When you're on a call, you'll also have your hold key up here as one of the soft keys. So the hold key on the screen or the hold key down here, they both function the same way. It's just your preference. You have a mute button here. If you're on a call, someone steps in your office, hold on just a second, mute your phone. You know, if you don't want your caller here and your conversation, so that cuts your audio out from you to whoever you're on the phone with. Transfer key, just the same as the transfer key on the screen. This RD key down here, that is your redial button. So if you want to redial a call, you press that, that's going to bring up your last phone calls on your on your screen. So you can use your arrow keys here and scroll and just find what number you want to dial or redial and hit OK. And it'll place that call. Incoming. Please enter your incoming and outgoing both. When you when you hit that key, you have some options on here <clears throat> for um so that's just place calls. So that's calls that you've made. Sorry about that. You get different options when you go and look at your history. So your history will have your your place calls, your missed calls, and your received calls. So you can kind of scroll through there to see which calls you want to look at. If it's an incoming call, outgoing call, it also displays them all in the same list if you want to look at them all together. But the redial key is just your place calls because that's numbers you've actually dialed, so you can redial them. 
I think we already mentioned the speakerphone key down here with the speaker symbol on it. Just activates the speakerphone on your phone. Across the bottom in the middle is your volume key. So when you don't have a phone call active, <coughs> just change the key ring. You ring your volume up and down. When you're actually on a phone call, it's going to change the audio volume in your ear. So that's what that does. Might have missed it, but is there a hold button? Yes, ma'am. There's a hold button right here. And there'll also be a hold soft key on your screen when you're on an active phone call. Anything else? Uh, you can't transfer the external numbers. Right. We'll put this other phone in front of the screen just so you can see what it looks like. This is the T23, which is the, the smaller phone. It doesn't have as many keys on the screen as you can see, so you're limited to two BLF keys here. There are two buttons here that you can have programmed. To monitor other extensions, answer other um, calls. And you see this light's kind of flashing red. That shows you got a missed call, a call that you did not answer. And also on the screen, there'll be a, it's kind of like a check mark with an arrow pointing to the corner. That's a missed call icon. So you've got a missed call indicator on your screen, and this light will also flash. If you have missed calls. Now that's not your voicemail key. Remember, your voicemail key is your message button down here that will also light it red if you've got a voicemail. And really that's the only difference in these two phones. There's no hold, there's no hard hold key on this phone. There's no hard conference key on this phone, but you're still gonna have those keys as a soft key when you're in an active phone call. And that's really the only difference in the two. This phone can do everything that phone can do, just with less keys. I don't think these have that. It's only the color model, color screen model. T29s. So I think that's it for the basic functions on the two phones. Um, I will show you the back of the phone. I don't know, you may be plugging it up, you may be moving it. So you've got two connections back here, and you won't be able to see it on the screen, but one has a internet, the other one says PC. So you always want your phone from the wall to go in the internet port. If your PC is patched through your phone, it goes in the PC port. You've also got a power plug over here if you have a power brick. I think most most of us are going to have PoE off your network switch, so that won't be needed. And that's all that's on the back of the phone. Um, these phones have a headset port. It's on the side. So you plug your headset in on the side, right beside where your handset is plugged up at. This phone has a headset port. But you'll notice this on the back of the phone, also beside the handset port. So you plug your handset headset up to the T27 phone on the back. Any, any other questions or anything I missed? Most headsets that we've seen work. I think we use the Jabra or the Plantronics. The biggest thing with these is your there's an EHS cable that comes with it, and they do have compatibility issues with some phones. Um, the ones that we sell, we've tested them, we know they work. Um, sometimes you get a cable that's bad or a cable that's not compatible with this type of phone. That's what we've seen. Anything else? Yes, this Ethernet cable in the back of the phone 
supplies the phone's power from the network switch. If you want to power cycle the phone, pull the cable out, the phone goes black. Plug it back up to provide the power back. You can also reboot the phone through the menu if you just need a, a cold reboot, but pulling that cord out is a, is a hard reboot, completely kills the power. Um, sometimes that is necessary. Keep in mind, you know, Yeah. While your phone's unplugged, you will lose that Ethernet connectivity to your PC. So, what is the anticipated date of arrival of the new phone? Right now, and you can't hold me to this because Mm -hmm. (laughs) we're still working on some stuff. We've got a lot of phone numbers we got to port over. So, we're looking at possibly the middle of May. Actually, two weeks, two or three weeks from now. But depending on how the number porting looks, um, everything looks good there. It'll be the week of the 10th, I think, or the 14th. And we're looking at for, trying to knock out the whole county in that in that one week period. And we would do the manpower we're going to have our team here to assist with that um robin and dale of course so we'll be going around plugging up phones we're going to do a couple of departments every day over the course of that that week while we're doing it you'll have to dial the seven digits number if they don't already have a new phone. Yeah, if we move DSS Monday, health department um, is not moved until Tuesday. So if you get your new phone, health department don't have theirs yet, you will need to dial the seven digit number to reach the health department. There won't be any four digit extension dialing until they get their new phone as well. And other than that, we've been working with Dale and Robin on getting your auto attendance and everything set up. I know y'all had to record and probably got tired of hearing from Dale about that, but I think we got all those nailed down and, and in place. So when we do port your phone numbers over, everything goes smooth. Calls start coming on your new phones and we'll be around that next week for a few days just to iron out any bugs and answer any questions. It's, it's going to happen. It always does. That's all I got, unless anybody has any other questions. Yeah, I mean, it's if you can use a cell phone, I, I tell people, I mean, it's, you're not really going to tear up the phone. You can, but the best thing to do is get your hands on it, play with it, see what it does. Um, that, that's how you learn. That's how I learned the easiest. So. Easy. Um, oh, yeah. Transfer, what, 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 yeah. I mean, Ron's done a lot of phone installs more than I have. Um, done a lot of trainings, and he's seen what comes. And most people end up, they may start out hating the phone, but, you know, a couple of weeks, it's the best thing in the world. I'm already thinking there's going to be some things we're going to have to do a little bit differently, but that's for anything new that you're right. going to talk to some of the features and options. And if you, have, if you have a question or something you want to know, you know, can it be done, just ask Dale or Robin. They can ask us. Uh, most things we can, we can accomplish. It may not be the same way you did it in the past, but it may be a different way or a better way to do it. So when we find out about the um, extensions on the side for the see who's on the line or who's not on the line. Yeah. I think um Dickie's gonna get Robin some pricing on that. And um we'll see about getting that added in there. Yeah. Y'all currently have something like that there? Yeah. The only only thing you'll get on this is 
the person you're trying to call, their phone will not ring if they're on a the call, but they'll see the call come up on the screen. So if they we're calling them and they are on the phone, it just won't ring on our end. No, it's going to ring on your end. It's going to be busy. If you won't get it busy, they'll they'll either send you the voicemail or answer your call. Yeah. Yeah, they can. I'm on the phone. Call me back. Yeah, it'll give them an answer to an uh, option to answer the call. It's just whether they want to put the caller there with on hold. Some customers we've had to actually remove that key because it accidentally gets pressed. I didn't know it was on. Yeah. Like I said, when you press it, you got that that icon on the top of your screen up here that says D and D. And from the front desk, though, when I call you, if you're on D and D, I can't see that you're on. Well, if they go on D and D, you're gonna see their light as red. If I have. If call. you have the console, and then when you call them, you're gonna go straight to voicemail. It will not ring okay, it off. We'll straight to call them. Yep. But they should be setting up busy messages, right? Yes, they should. You know, if they have a busy message that they set up. On our end. That's what I what I was saying about the voicemails. You have the unavailable message, the busy message. So if you're on the phone. The system's going to know you're on the phone. It's going to play your busy message, which may say, I'm currently with a customer on the phone. You know, please leave a message and I'll call oh, back. Right. That works. Right. We definitely will train that, that feature. <laughs> yes. Yes. Right. 